We want you! <laughs> you don't have to agree. That's why they're opinions. I love your costume! That's Air Smith. That's living on the edge right there. Paid $57 for a 1957 392 Hemi. Wow. This is insane. This thing is so awesome. You look good. Let me Dang! Oh, no. Dang. If nothing else, we've cleaned up the yard. <laughs> Welcome back. It's our Sunday video. We have had a really fun full weekend and it's just Saturday. Um, we have been working away in the barn and we spent a little bit of time at Edgewater Racetrack last night for, what is it called? Jack's Wax, uh, low down and lifted was last night. Today is the Plates and 28th race, Old Man's Garage is putting on Street Race Channel. So you'll see, you'll see some of the Friday night action of that, burnout contest and everything. They had a car show. It was just fun, trick or treat and everything. We had a good time. It's a real nice racetrack. And uh, they always put going good events. It's They're, true. A uh, little something different today. Winter's coming. And there's a lot of shooting going on, so sorry about that. That's just where we live, America. Uh, we're going to try to save something I ruined. Uh, 427 Chevy. This is for all you big block Chevy fans. What kind of person just lets a 427 four bolt main steel crank motor lay over on his tree line? Me. I have a lot going on and uh, kind of got Cummins brainwashed and I've been looking at that thing sitting over there. I'm going to grab a chain. We're going to get over here and we're going to jerk it apart. I'm going to show you what I'm going to save, what I'm going to throw away. You'll be surprised. Uh, I'll explain to you why I'm going through this process. You might also be surprised. Uh, my beautiful assistant's here. She just told me I had a nail in my $400 tire right before she hit play. So. Uh, this is real life. I'm pissed off, but I'm going to do this anyway. So there's not a human alive that's had more nails in their tires than me. You can write that down. So. Here we go. Hey, what's going on? Peace and grease. We're back. Something a little different today. Got a pole job to do. Uh, this is our uh, the staple of our collection. This is our Raw Max. I, I can't remember. I think it's 32, 36 foot trailer. It's all of it. But this is a this is a badass trailer. I bought this off a guy I knew for a while back for about two thirds of what it was worth. Saved a bunch of money, and it's just been a great trailer. It's got G-rated tires, I think, on it storage box up front and when we got it it had mega ramps that weren't on it and it came with the aluminum ramps in the deal look here where are you going she's, she's on a steel horse she rides she's wanted dead or alive yeah i don't want to be dead after all this grass now and kills my back Probably the last time she'll have to mow it. Cross your fingers, I was having the last time was last time. Them pretty colors, trees behind her. All right, well, like I said, the ramps were loose. They flip over, and when they flip over, it makes the deck flat. Uh, they were off, and there was no pipe. And the aluminum ramps are great, but we're going to use those on the ramp truck. And when you drive up, they want to fall off. So today, I went and got a piece of pipe. So on one end, I'm going to weld a cap, and then on the other end, I'm going to drill a hole. But i got to cut it to length, and uh, that's what we're going to do today. little small project. Shouldn't take very long at all, and that'll make the Raw Max a complete package. We still have the aluminum ramps, which are handy for side loading, and that's what we do with the, the mule. We put it on the side, stuff like that. So that's just one project we're working on today. So we get this done, knock it off the list. Also got the pool filled up, so I better go check on that. We had to drain the pool, clean it, fill it back up so we can drain it, winterize it. 
I'm going to get off here. She's going to go mow. I'm going to get some dimensions on this pipe. Weld me a plate on one end so it won't fall out. And then I'll drill a hole in the other end for a bolt or a pin or a cable. Something like that. I don't know what was in it originally. There's the old K30. I traded a cat eye for that truck even. A little two-wheel drive, rattly cat eye. Couldn't even drive it 70 down the highway without the steering wheel breaking your wrist. And uh, a few people thought I was crazy to trade that little truck for that K30 Army truck. But the only thing we've ever had to do to that is put a seal between a transmission transfer case because it started leaking. And it was pressurizing the transfer case. It's still shifting though. But it probably ran some debris through everything. But anyways, look at that van back here. We're going to get at it. All right, here we got our solid inch and a half pipe. And I started drilling through it. I thought it was going to be hard, but the day I learned to not overspeed the drill bits was a real good day. There goes Dustin Hawkins in his $360,000 lawsuit. How long can somebody stay in business when they're getting sued for $360,000? I don't know. He will, though. <laughs> All right, there you got a hole. Now we just need to measure it 96 inches long, cut it in half. Phone's about to die, so I'll be right back. All right, we got our pipe cut, hole drilled. I got the muscle out here. We're going to drag them over here and line them up. All right. All right, we had to call in reinforcements to MT85. It's, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. No, you just get one hole at a time and line it up. There for a minute, uh, that might be sharp. There for a minute, I didn't think we was going to get it. These little springs on the end here are critical to help you be able to flip it over and stuff. So I wanted to get those hooked in because those help you, keeps it from slamming on the trailer and then it helps you flip them over. So we're gonna keep on going. All right, it got tight. Anything good's worth fighting for. So now hopefully I can flip them over and I don't ser seriously regret this. That's the big thing. Let's see if they flip over. Oh man. I don't even know if I can pick them up. Is that for real? Huh? I seen stars right there. Huh. God dang, man. That sucked. That might be why they weren't on there. Dude, that hurt my body. This is insane. I can see why they took them off. All right, so this is a real concern. I, uh, I'm a full grown man and I have a hard time getting those flipped over. Dad, gone. What's a little tiny guy to do? How's he flip them over? You gonna do it again? I mean, that's easy. That part was easy. So far, it's easy. What are you doing? I'm testing. We're gonna try again. I'm gonna try it again. This is testing phase. 
All right, just gotta eat your Wheaties. I mean, that's an extra 500 pounds right on the tail. That's probably why they took them off. All right, that's a wrap on the trailer ramps until I have my double hernia surgery. Look at that scene behind you, that truck and that, uh, those leaves. That's pretty neat, ain't it? Snapped his ankle. No. Catch you on the next job. Where are we? Edgewater Sports Complex. What are we here for? Well, we're here for a uh, car show, but we're, it's uh, plates of 28s, jack's wax, pre-party, pre test and tune all night, burnout contest, street race channel, old man's garage, Gen 2 garage, Jimmy Dale. They're all here. I'm it's excited. Gonna, yeah, it's going to be a lot be, of fun. It's going to be a good time. Uh, the best part's gonna be sliding off the trailer with only front brakes. But, well, uh, the rain's about to clear up in like 30 minutes, so it'll be fine. Yep, yeah. should be a good night, Friday night. Yeah. Trick or treat. Yeah. Hopefully the rain goes away. Yep. Yeah. <laughs>
Gang! Gang! Intercooler. Comments. <laughs> yeah. Man, that is awesome. I love that. I think Tanner's back there. It's Philadelphia Collins and Sons. Don't be some race cars. I am. They're <laughs> terrible. Four cylinder cup, let's build this right here. Get that four cylinder cup. Tell me about it. That's a 4BT running a color generator powering this building. That's, That's awesome. Cool. That's awesome. People put those as a good Model A's, little trucks. That's what is an AJ Dean's truck. Uh -huh. Yeah, let me get my picture in front. That's Keep cool. Filming. That was an odd choice of pose. Get you another one. There you go. Do your hip like the girls do, babe. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> You're stupid. I'm going to make that our fucking thumbnail for it. <laughs> Stealing four BTs. That's old number twenty, dude. That's 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 five thousand dollars sitting there, easy that's ten cool. maybe with the generator. Cool. That'll fit right in the Model A. See it in size? Yeah. That's about the perfect size for a Model A. And then you have a little Model A like AJ Dean's truck that would go. They need a turbo. <laughs> that's what we need next. If we ever get like a new barn.
Wyatt, look up. You look good. Let me get from this angle. That is so creepy. Good job. That's awesome. That is awesome. I said, say it. <laughs> you didn't know what to say. I said, we want you. Walk way to heaven up through there. Jason Anderson. That's cool. It says hippie something. Hippie pot of us. Hippie pot of us. <laughs> yeah, look, it's the blue Morgersons. <laughs> Who got the dog? <laughs> oh yeah? Oh my gosh, look at her. You look so cute! There was a girl Chucky. He would be singing that song to me. He's always watching you. Yeah, he's always where I am. This thing is so awesome. I love it so much. Edgewater, check it out. The car right across from us, and he's giving me some real interesting history. Give us, give us a quick rundown. Look at this. Yeah, how you doing? This is a '46 Mercury, got a 392 Hemi in it. And what's cool about this car is it was built in the '60s, and everything you see sitting around it is the original stuff that came with the car in the 60s. The board, the pictures, it raced here at this track in the '60s. Um, the same guy that lettered this car in 1967 re-lettered it in 2012. The board has survived since 1968. It's getting ready to get loud here, but yeah. show the engine in the old metal flake. I love it. Beautiful. It is beautiful. I mean, the original team jacket. Yeah, I've seen that in the plastic. Yeah. I mean, they're filming. Tell me about the engine again. How much was it? 
So I got the receipt in the book. They paid $57 for a 1957 392 Hemi. Wow. That's amazing. So needless to say, it's increased about 100 10,000 times in value. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> What's well, really unique, it's got a B and M clutch flight. Oh yeah. With if you're not familiar with that, it's an automatic that yeah. you use a clutch to yeah. leave the line with. Yeah. Huh. That's cool. So that's the original team jacket and helmet. So it's a it's a B and M That's a lot of smoke. Man, uh, you put a blower on an LS and quiet.
was so fun. We got to see so many awesome cars. We got to watch some awesome burnouts. We got to watch some racing. I'm trying to keep that light out of your eye. It's like look, weird look, lighting. Look for Dick Banjo on Street Race Channel. Yeah, that's true. I got to meet Vicky finally, and I love her. I love watching them. We've watched the Street Race Channel forever. Wyatt had a great time dressed up and having fun handing out candy to the kids. I got to see little baby Wyatt, which was awesome. He's so cute. He's like little Charlie Brown. It was a great time. I had a worth, great time. It was worth coming just to look at Billy Hoskins' camera and say Dick Banjo. <laughs> it was so fun, you guys. This was a great event. I hope they do it again. This is the scene of the crime right here. This is a gigantic elephant. Most of you at this point are already wondering, why am I watching this? Don't turn the channel, please. I promise it'll be fun. Let's find a way to lift this thing and get it over to the barn. I don't think that's gonna work. It's a behemoth, really. Do you use that word often? All the time. Behemoth. Oh, yeah. I didn't bring any tools, but they're close by. There's really no way to hook to it. Are you excited about this? I'm excited for the outcome. Well, when's that going to be, I wonder? I don't really know. I'll after, leave it here. It's going to be after jumping. the boat trailer, after the camper. Well, I don't know. Who knows? Let me find a place to put the bolt. Oh, we got one. We really don't care what we ruin. You'll see why. So, quick history lesson. Why are we even messing with this? Before aftermarket blocks came along, this was the 420, this is the 427 tall deck out of our own truck that we drive around now. I took it apart, took it out, it ran. So I'm a fool for letting it sit here and do this. This was out of the C50. Yep. Originally. Yep. And it is worth a little bit of money. Let's see if that'll hold it. Uh, all of these, so some of the, some of the, most of the trucks had a 366 tall deck, which you really can't do much with those. It's just a smaller bore. Uh, this, I ran the numbers on this. This is a 427 tall deck. That means this right here, from the center of the crank to the deck height of the head, is. 9.8 on a regular big block Chevy. It's 10.2 on a tall deck. So these aren't really great for putting in, although they do it, Novas, Chevelles, because when you put the headers up, stuff don't fit. You can put a big crank in this, and I think you can go up to 525 maxed out. So it'll just be fun to get it on the stand and not ruin it all the way, because Dick Banjo has a big block Chevy in it. That's awful mild. <laughs> and someday we want to have a blower on it and everything. So it'd be cool to... Let's just see what we can do. Enough talk. Let's get it closer to the barn. Get to work closer to the tools. Is that what he said? Yeah. He has finished it. Is that appropriate? Is that appropriate? Look how heavy it is. I know. All right, let's get some weight. Oh, look at this bolt. Oh my gosh. That's edgy. That's Michael. Bolt. That's Aerosmith. That's living on the edge right there. Aerosmith is what you got. Yeah, you got Michael Bolt and I got Aerosmith. I always use Michael Bolt and then when it comes to bolts. Michael and them. I know about him. This takes bigger, uh, this takes bigger bolts. Than most things. Oh.
what we should have done in the sense of a true use what you got is we should have taken this motor and put it in the in the bus the bus is they don't know about the bus yet it's got a whole nother plan and it ain't about driving it no you're going everyone's gonna love the new bus plan oh i can't wait for that project we ain't gonna drive it we'll tell you that much i don't even know what the bus is no nope, that's true that's true just don't get under it it'll hold i'm don't. not i'm gonna start taking some stuff off real quick when do we uh, when do we talk about the bus probably when we're pulling it out because i don't even want to get them excited till we're doing it So all these old trucks had this mid plate, mm -hmm. even the Cummins, even that. And I bet if you measure those holes on that Cummins over there, bell housing and this, they're all the same. Cause pretty much all. Pretty much all commercial trucks had a 33 inch wide frame. Did you know that? I did not know that. Ah, strike one. Strike two. Might keep that please for future sticks endeavors. Get under it and get killed. Don't do that. Ah, hammerhead it till it comes loose. There went a bunch. Now we need to get the flywheel off here. Need, need another bigger socket. Let's open for a quickie. Ay, ay, ay. What's that? What? It's a, a mud dauber nest? He lives in there. Big block. Dauber. Big, big block dauber. <laughs> that was that guy's name on Coach, I remember? Loved <laughs> I loved Coach. Do you watch Coach? I watch a lot of Coach. Coach and Roseanne? <laughs> yeah. Every, not every. For some reason. Old Dauber was my favorite. The old man was pretty funny. Coach's buddy. Yeah. You know that's the guy's brother from was, King of Queens. That was I the think, old man was Jerry Van Dyke, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, still her. Yeah, Jerry Van Dyke. Uh, I'm gonna have to get an extension just to get that one back to the garage. While he's getting tools, I'm going to tell you guys, I was so excited last night to go to that event because we have watched Street Race Channel from the beginning, and so. If you don't watch them, you should, but we also watch Old Man's Garage, and we love Vicky, and we love Allison, and Tommy. We love to watch them all. So, last night I got to say hello to Vicky for the first time in person, and we took a little present for her new grandson, Wyatt, which we think is adorable, and we love his name, of course. So, that was a really fun thing. He was dressed like Charlie Brown. He was so cute in his little wagon. I loved it. It was so much fun. That was the highlight of my night. And I forgot my sweatshirt at home, so I got to get a Street Race Channel hoodie. And I love it. It's so comfortable. Kept yeah, me so yeah. warm. What'd you get? I got old man's garage metal polish. We got a nice bumper for White's truck. We're going to give that a good, honest review. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So that was, that was the highlight. Three hundred pounds off of it. Already. No doubt. So, I've been telling Jennifer about dudes and welding. Jennifer's a smart girl, but there's some things like she. I I told her about like 
got dudes who want their maxes but they can't afford them so they end up with 1500s and then they squat them and everything I'm not saying that's a mean way what you want and what you can afford at the dealerships different and I've been telling her about people who are uh, weld and they critique your welds no matter what no matter what they look like they walk right up and badmouth your welds no matter what they look like no matter who you are it's a wild thing I don't know man you guys know you're out there. Show me your welds. Now, I've never said, we've never put on a welding lesson, have we? No. You In know fact, why? we always say that we're not professionals, is what we say. No. We just do what we do for ourselves and have fun with it and show you what you're capable of doing. Yeah. That bolt's, that, that, if I take that bolt off, she's gonna fall. Let's move up front here and see what we got. We'll get more tools. Keep, keep rolling. So even if you tell somebody, hey, that's a rat rod. I built it. I wish they'd come cut this tree down. I know. So, hey, that's a rat rod. It was built for a build off, for a budget. They still don't. They don't get it. No. Look at the size of that radiator hose. Last night, last night, the, he he literally said, this guy literally said, I wanted to ask you, why would you do that? <laughs> like, not why would you build that? Or, what was it built for? Why would you do that? So That's our, a weird way to say it. We consider Dick Banjo art. And I didn't really start thinking about this like this until a year or two ago. Art triggers people. Like, I don't like Taylor Swift. It don't trigger me. I just don't listen to it. You know what I mean? No, but it triggers other people that you don't like it. <laughs> so, you know. Exactly. So They can't understand why you don't like it. So They don't. They don't understand why people do like Dick Banjo because they just don't see the creativity in it, I guess. I don't understand why somebody spends so much time building that. Cover right back. This motor has big, big bolts, bigger bolts than even a truck's big block. Seems like maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just crazy. Everything's five eighths on this baby. It's kind of fun to see how long it'll hang on that chain like that. <laughs> it's bent, it's edgy. Wasn't he in R.E.M. or some Edge? Wasn't he in, uh, well, who was he in, Edge? I don't know who he that is. He was a musician. Edge. Yeah, the Edge. I think he was in Pearl Jam or something. I don't was. know who Edge is. I don't. He's someone. I'm telling you about who Edge is. I believe you. I'm going to have to look it up. Not because I don't believe you, just because I want to know. Mama Ken, huh? So, so everything's weird. Get us close up of that. That looks like a male unit. We talked about this before. Yeah. We've got 6,000 more subscribers since the last time we talked about it. That's true. I don't need none of this. It's all got to go. These tree trimmers linger like a crazy ex-girlfriend. They'll after. sleep in your front yard under a tree, yeah. like on break. Yeah, they had one over yesterday. Did you catch him? Yeah, he was laying right there. He leaned by... up for me like he was going to attempt no, to get up. No, no. Just... I don't care. Rest away, brother, if you're getting paid. Save all these bolts, peeps. You know. You know the game. Save all your belts. Save all your bolts. Put all your bolts on the wall. When you need a belt, so when you need one, you got a test belt at least. Them's Napa premiums. Them's probably still good. It was running good, wasn't it? Yeah. The guy said it knocked, but... We drove the, tra the C50 onto the trailer. So, yeah, it actually did run good. Look how I've been doing it. I know. Older Colorado. Yeah, right yeah. Rocky Mountain High. It's got a front mount. Never been there. I want to go. I do too. I've driven through. So they'll come trim your trees, lay in your yard. 
And then two weeks later, they'll be right back. I don't get it. They just charge the state more that way? I guess. Just to have all we got to go back. You know, if you got an extension on there, you lose your torque. You know that? I did, actually. So I took that off. But you already knew? Yeah. I so actually I this apparatus. Did. Makeshift apparatus off air. That boat there might be holding it. That was really a nice adjustment system. Yeah. Who's that? <laughs> that like an old Z28 or something. <laughs> Jean jacket. That guy in that big blue caprice. That thing's pretty stock. <laughs> that thing would cough if you gave it anything faster than 45. We're getting there, ain't we? Mm hmm. This, though, I have to probably pull the pulley off, get to see what we get. Let's see what we can do. Someday I dream of building a car that all has the same size bolt. I find a happy median. Ah, something went in my eye. Great. Oh! <laughs> Drummer! Useless in anything other than a top deck. 1960 dump truck. We're moving right along. All right. We're getting there. She ain't fell yet. You might be able to save that for some fab work. All right. Let's change. Let's change for another bolt right next to it. Every bolt's different. At least we ain't fighting metric and standard. My Wyatt's 87 truck has uh, metric threaded stuff on it. It's real handy. It's real handy when you got a lifetime collection of bolts and you go over and nothing fits. You got probably enough bolts laying in there. Gravel. Ow! Ah! Got me right in the ankle. Dude, it hit the turf. You can put that around your dog and make him pull something. Which dog? <laughs> Neither one of ours. We got one that would want to pull and one that's too lazy to pull. It <laughs> actually pull. We're going to have to set it down eventually because we're hooked to parts that need to come off. Let me get under it first. Oh, God. I don't think so. So it's been sitting outside with no carburetor on it. We're not going to see if it'll run because we already know that it did. And ridiculous will it start clog up the internet. There's really no reason to do it. I'm going to say it here first. This is a hot take. There's no reason to do will it start videos on engines you never intend to use. If you buy a 54 Chevy with a straight six, there is no reason to show the world that you can get that running. It was probably running when it was parked, so that's not that hard. And that's all, folks. You agree? Sure. Mm. Sure. Because the algorithm of will it start is strong, so people just use that they start anything everything things that don't even need started and then they'll be like well i couldn't get it started watching a will it start video of a motor that will won't start is worse than watching unsolved mysteries <laughs> and that's and you heard it here first you don't have to agree that's why they're opinions i made a comment the other day about harley davidson's in a Everyone in the world with no Harley Davidsons went wild, didn't they? They did. Pissed off. 
Three days later, still commenting about it. We got a zip tie down here, folks. Roscoe would say, get, get, you dipstick. Did you like that impersonation? Yeah. Seen a lot of nice people down at the old Edgewater last night. Oh my gosh, yeah. All the kids in their costumes. That was so fun. You always want to try to get it out without ruining it. Yeah. Because when you call Jags and order another one, yeah. it's not going to be the same. Mm -hmm. It may not be any good, but personal victories also count. And that's a personal victory if we were going to use the heads. But we ain't. We ain't going to use none of it. All right. These cables might be worth reusing for the copper. Hundred and twenty. Hundred and twenty. God dang, man. I was like flipping over a mega wrap. It made me want to lift it. <laughs> was watching this. Uh, I watched. It made me wonder if you're being dramatic. No. <laughs> That's a hundred pounds with the starter. Like that trucker show where that lady gets turned on by the old dude. Oh, God. It's just really something about the way they handle their machine. Got to work them arms to keep it on the road, she said. It really does something to me. Really <laughs> that was funny. This is why those trucks wouldn't go anywhere, man. Too heavy. Little power. Big ass. Like, like everybody's mouth. Are you staring at my butt? Yeah, I'm zoomed in. The true rat riders always got something they can be working on. I'm reluctant to sit it on the concrete because yeah. of oil spillage. You know how I am. I absolutely well, do. This guy's dangerous. All the time. What's the number one thing my son asked me? You gonna work out, Dad? So that every day is a workout. Son. Every day. Gotta get this on. Didn't get this bracket on because of the bell housing. So now we got the bell housing off. Let's put the bracket on. What's going on here? There we go. I'm gonna have to go search for more bolts. That one might be too long. Yep. Alright. How's that thing? Bastards. Haven't been stung in years. I've been stung twice this year. It's stupid. It hurts more than it used to. I feel like it does. That one on the bottom of my foot I thought was going to make me pass out. I used to get stung and laugh about it. Now I get sick. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? I can't believe in people go get that bee therapy where they let them sting them. Roma? Yeah. No. Uh -uh. It's people not Roma. Not. But yeah, bee therapy. They go and they get stung by bees, but with therapists. Mostly it helps your something, people nervous are, system or something, I guess. People are real complicated. Mine shuts down whenever I get bee stung. Why is, why is people so weird? I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm all for like alternative therapy, but I'm not going to sign up to go get stung. Stingings? Me personally not signing up for it. Like that. So, we'll have another engine in the way. Great. <laughs> I love that. It's been my whole life. I was dodging two of them all winter last One year. One time I got the best engine I ever had because my buddy's dad got mad at him. 
and he sold it to me for a hundred dollars and I put it in a derby car and it was a bad son of a bitch. Maybe that's when he realized he was going to be a crappy friend to me later on in life. Uh, probably already always was. There we go. She was pinched. What's that word I said I hated earlier? I don't know. Snack, snack, what was it? It was with a, how you say a word funny. Oh, penile. Ah. <laughs> No one penile. That's an implant. Penalized. Penalized. Yeah, I hate that. Can't it's an say, implant. Can't you? Can't you just say penal? Penalty. Penalized. Pen penalized. Don't say penalized. You've been penalized, Dexter. That sounds like you're getting some. Well, they don't say penal. They don't say fifteen yard penalty. <laughs> uh, probably gonna have to set it down. Spin around. Get in front of it. Whoa. It wasn't even the right size thread. <laughs> that was real bad. That's how most of America's made. Sad. It's still real heavy. That's the best engine stand they sell. Every valve cover bolt in America is 7 16ths, but this one is 3 8 You know, you know, my whole life. My whole life, so I'll be right back. You know how many days, you know how old I was before I learned that the River of Deceit wasn't sung by Alice in Chains? 45. I was 45 last night. Yeah. And I learned that it was a band called Mad Season. Yeah. With Lane Staley as lead singer. And they only produced one album. So today when I'm not filming and I can rock, you know what's going to happen. I got to review that album. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, listen, I have stumbled onto something new from 1995. New to me. Mm -hmm. That's a big deal. Yeah. That's like finding a Leonard Skinner uh, album you didn't know existed. Yeah. Which I'm going to tell people out there because a lot of my fans, I can tell, like Leonard Skinner. Not good, babe. Not not bad. <laughs> not bad, but not good. Oh. Good thing is we're not using any of this. It's all junk. It's all boat anchor stuff. We're heading in for the Glock and the crank. And our goal in this video is to see if the crank still turns. We need a trash can. We grab that over there real quick. Yeah. So what is our 
What's our next move is peace and grease? Do we have anything planned? Or are we gearing up for a potential run to south? I think that's at this point what we're gearing up for, but who knows? We I mean, to balance out our current life situation. Yeah, we don't really know. There's a lot going on, so. It could also just be us in the van. Yeah. You know? That's true. That's so true. Sometimes plans change a little bit. Yeah. So three different bolts, <laughs> three different bolts on this one valve cover. Uh, you know, what do you, what's a man to do? What are you supposed to do? Every bolt is different. Just keep getting the socket. Somebody's been in her. So it was laying on this side. We know like the Titanic that when it went down, it, le it keeled over on its, which yeah. is this, the bow or the... Oh, the that tank. I don't know that. What side is, did it lay on the bow or the tank? I think it's called the stern, oh. not the tank. <laughs> but I don't know. Just found out what a simp was. Yeah, we guys, we try to keep up with what these kids are saying. Yeah. And we were jokingly using the word simp, thinking that it means somebody Simple. that's real dumb. Simpleton. Like a simpleton. Um, and then we found out from one of our kids yesterday or the day before that it actually means somebody that wants to sleep with anybody. Everybody. 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 Somebody that wants to sleep with everybody. So me and Tim been walking around thinking we're calling people dumb, and we're calling them sluts. Horn bags. <laughs> horn bags. Oh, God. I don't think kids use the word horny no more, do they? No, I don't think so. Huh. That was like a derogatory term. <laughs> oh, I'm getting attacked again. This, it's because you're beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look, it's on the freaking phone. Look at that thing. You're beautiful. I you're, hate he it. He ain't even got near me. I hate it so much. He won't leave me alone. Now he's near you. I'm going to ignore him. Just like I do everybody else. I tried that and then he was by my eyeball. All right. Distributor, jump. The key to these is... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The it's key to fine. these is you got to buy a... Uh, you buy an aftermarket distributor with an adjustable collar. So, if you ever have a 427 tall deck, then that's what you need to do. We're going to see inside of this sucker here for too much longer. We're probably going to leak oil, so I need to... We need some kiddie pools for the last time of that my life. That is a code right there. If I've ever seen one. I don't know why we don't have them. We say it every time. Let's see. An extension. I never think about buying kiddie pools because we have a pool. So. so that ain't bad. This side here ain't bad at all. A little spring like that would be good to have around. Don't know why. Can't get to one. They made one you can't get to. Distributor comes out. That's a good sign. There's not a better distributor hold down in the world than a factory one. You buy a chrome one, your distributor will move. She's tight. She's tight. Something said. We got heavy rust. Major. Heavy rust. Now, if we get down here and we start fine pitting, it all goes in the. This is going to be like an unsolved mystery. <laughs> it all goes in the trash. Don't waste your time on junk. Grandpa had one in his pulling tractor. They all did. That's all I had to pick from. Ouch. That was a pinch. Do you like when people use that? It reminds me of uh, Sleeper Dude's wife when you say it. That I think she says it. I like watching them too. 
Sleeper dude is intelligent. So smart. And, and fun. And error and He's being... smart and patient and fun to watch. That's what I like about him. Looked like his dad was a major part of growth and development as a child. For sure. That's why he's good with his kids. Probably why street race channels you got good kids. Yeah. Oh. A different size? No. Yes. Say it ain't so. Two two bolts, different size, but then the one underneath it is this size. Okay. <laughs> okay. The Americans are so stupid. <laughs> now, it's, now it's wanting to turn the whole operation. So let me look for a better socket. <laughs> a lot of our viewers are older than me and they're sitting there laughing right now because they go through the same stuff. Uh, yep. Yep. This is uh, a husky, so don't. So, oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't this know. Yeah, three. you're this you're getting rowdy. And I was wondering if that, I, I didn't know your technique there. I, I, I just loosened it up. I so knew. Come on. Knocking the rest out. See, All loose. right. See ya. Just stop. I knew. I knew we were going that way. There's someone over there. It'd be really cool with a radiator hose on the end of it. Oh, gosh. I'm hanging that up, and that's art. I'm I'm building off of that. Okay. Use that to make our water spigot on Dick Banjo. 54 millimeter, but USA. I was just curious what they ran in them. Don't say on it nowhere. Hmm. I was going to tell everybody out there so they knew what to get. <laughs> I'm a, I'll be honest with you. I'm a simp for big box Chevys. Oh my gosh. You know it? Can't get the intake off till I get that distributor out, but we're going to. We're going to keep on chiggling. Every bolt we take out, do you get that reference? Yeah. Trash. Right in the trash. Don't even look at it. Don't, don't attempt to keep it. Don't even look at it. Aluminum heads are cheap enough. You don't even mess with these. You wouldn't make... You wouldn't make 200 horsepower with these heads max on a dyno, ever. Look, it's got good oil. Yeah, I know. Already. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. It don't look bad at all. Topical. Uh, that one's a little. I'd kiss her. A little skanky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a little skanky. going to interrupt this program for Tim's tech tip of the day. Oh. Big block Chevys have two different length push rods. See that? I do. Now this being a tall deck, I do not know the specs, but these are even more odd than a typical big block Chevy. Um, in the long run, these will be used for nothing more than trophy art, but they are a measuring point for future endeavors mm -hmm. because when you run through your valve train with big cams different different profile heads and different stuff uh you might have to run custom push rods and it won't hurt to have a set in the drawer um the reason i am telling you this is when i was 16 years old i had a 454 chevy i put a high performance cam in it it ran great had a little noise in it started running worse me being a devastated young child, young man, I didn't want to work on it anymore. 
So I put the 74 three quarter ton square body pretty much rust free for sale for $500 with a damaged 454. Of it. Some boys come and got it. Man. A year or two later, I was on job site and here come my pride and joy truck rolling in. Oh, running good. Oh, man. Hillbilly Jim, the wrestling figurine, still stuck in the window that I forgot to take out. When I was young, I was just happy to have the $500. And that was actually in a time in the 90s when $500 cars were everywhere. Yeah. So I said, man, that breaks my heart. How'd you guys fix the motor? And they said, Timmy, you had two of the push rods crossed. I had them. My, my, my valve train was mad. And all they did was take it apart, change oil, fix, the, fix that. I'm only telling you this because... Me, personally, I will never do that again. It was a lesson learned. I will never do it again. Everything's a lesson. I will never put diesel fuel, and I had never had, but I will never put diesel fuel in another engine again. How much time do you think we've got into this so far? In less than an hour? <clears throat> Probably, if you take away all the times you've had to change sockets, an hour. <laughs> Oh. If you're just tuning in, we're only building this for boost uh, purposes in the future. They're all four bolt main, unless we get debunked once we get inside. But I know they're all four bolt main because the internet told me that. So a four bolt main, big block, when you don't have aftermarket block money to a guy like me, is a valuable thing to have. And also, what no one knows, including you, is I have another one of these in this container <laughs> that I did electric job once, and uh, it was sitting there next to the guy's electric panel on an engine stand just like this. And I said, what do you want for that engine? And he said, I'll take a couple hundred dollars for it for the work. And I said, I'm your sucker. It's in the shed. So... I didn't get no crank with that one. It was kind of a parts engine, but it's still a good block. <clears throat> what I'm getting at is if I like establish a foundation, you know, I have a spare engine. Yeah. <clears throat> that one wasn't even tight unless I already got it. Let's see how many of them will come out. My big impact's up in the C50. We still ain't unpacked it from last night. Straight in the trash. Should probably just throw them in the scrap pile, but then they fall out and go in your tires. I just remembered about that. Oh, God. Put four brand new tires on her Escalade. Jennifer drives it 90% of the time. And, I don't know a lot of and uh maybe six months into having four brand new 22 inch rim tires on the Escalade, it it got a flat. I still believe in plugs. But that hole was no virgin. She leaks around the edges a little bit. So every once in a while, old Red, as the kids who went to elementary school with her call her, has to fill it up. And then I feel like an ass, because I forget about it. The one I didn't when he lose. says every once in a while, he means every three days. <laughs> every three days. That's every once in a while. I love Cadillac products. One day on about the eighth year of their existence, they just turn to shit, <laughs> don't they? Yeah. This one now it locks itself. Yeah. So we we MacGyvered my keys out last week because it locked itself with my keys in it. We performed a C-section. <laughs> So I fashioned up a tool off my van antenna and some wood shims and some pry bars and I got in there and I was pushing directly on the unlock button. 
10, 15 times. And uh, you could push directly on the lock button and it would go crank and it would lock more. It would more lock, <laughs> but it wouldn't unlock. And the keys were hanging with the key out of the ignition like that. Just dangling. So there wasn't no chip of the key wasn't activated into it or nothing. I don't know how that shit works. I'm guessing. But uh, <clears throat> we had to work together in tandem like a trio, like a duo of doctors and pry that door open so far. And she took two fly swatters and unraveled them, linked them together like a scene out of Survivor. <laughs> and as I pried the door open, shaking and cringing, like Sylvester Stallone with Cliffhanger when he was trying to keep his friend girl from dying. Yeah. I was holding that door. I felt just like him. <laughs> and she was in there with her old Shaky Johnson. Uh, we had to go get new fly swatters. <laughs> but she pulled the keys with about the key fob, which don't work very good. Uh, pulled it all the way out of the door opening that I had pried open. We fish hooked it with some fly swatters. That's how we were. We wasn't breaking the window and we wasn't calling nobody. Thankfully, we were at home, so I had fly swatters to work with. We looked like, uh, hey, people who steal cars are real smooth, man. It's hard. It's harder than it looks on TV, I'm telling you that. <laughs> there's there's old boss, man. Yeah, in. yeah. Oh, that's not good on my icon. That's a pretty good ratchet. Yeah. Harbor Freight, man. I'm actually impressed by it. I probably broke it. You ah, don't like that. Ah. Who'd we see? At we who'd we see that no one will know who we're talking about? You're right. We've, we've coined a phrase, and it's it's obvious at this point. Everybody. Alive at some point has had a beef with a family member over nothing. Yeah. They've had a beef with a friend over nothing. Yeah. Stuff that could have been worked out got got left to die. A conversation could be had to resolve any issue. Everybody, and it's just never had. And everybody that has families going, yeah, my brother. Yeah, my cousin. Yeah, my dad, you know. Yeah. Everybody gets into that. Yeah. So we travel in our circle here, 50 miles from home, and we always know we're going to run into a few of those people. And it's just kind of funny to see the sad, same, miserable 25-year-old, 30-year-old. In our case, in our case, you was a relative and I was just a friend. Right. And that's how we met. Yeah, he's the reason we met. Yeah. Isn't that wild? Yeah. So, so I know you because of him. Yeah. And we're sitting there smiling with their dick banjo. And Handing out candy to the kids. Yep. Enjoying our time. Yep. And some people are just unable to enjoy just life. Just can't, just can't get past it. I hope that you accidentally ate all the candy that I gave you a kid last night. That's what I'm going to tell you. I hope you got that stack of Reese cups I gave him. <laughs> <laughs> so. There's more to it than all that. And it's nothing even dramatic. It's not even. But the guys had more pole barns than storage facility. Yeah. But with... Okay, so let me say this too. This person and I spent our lives growing up together. And we've lived in the same county, both of us, for our whole lives. Both of them. Yeah. So it's not like... It's not like there's been a great you, divide, but I'll tell you my... I'm let you introduce the world to the name. I will. I'll tell you my point of I'll, I'll probably never be the one to make that first move to say you were wrong because it was you that was wrong. But Pole Barn Charlie. That's his name, Pole Barn Charlie. I won't be the one to make the first move to talk to you, that's for sure, but you was wrong, and I'll still smile and give your kids candy. Look at all this fun stuff you're missing out on. I know. We could have just talked like old times. I know. It's funny to watch people walk on by. I it know. It's nothing to do with being on YouTube. No, it's nothing to do with not. I mean, this is this has been going on since I was 19 years old. But ah. my final straw was when Pole Barn Charlie ignored me at my dad's funeral. Look, that's we're pretty looking good. We're looking oh, good. Yeah, that's, that's up good. high. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. 
Sweet. You ever seen what a spark plug would do to a glass window? Uh-uh. Have I ever told you about that? No, but like, I imagine it's like the window breakers they have for your car in emergencies, that little metal part to shatter it. I'm not gonna do it, but let me give everybody a tip of the day. See this? Yeah. I'm gonna close my eyes when I do this. And don't look. I have to look. Old school guys know. If you take that piece right there and throw it at that Escalade side window, it'll shatter. Is that porcelain? Yeah. Why does porcelain shatter glass? The sharp edge of the porcelain is the glass's nemesis. Huh. That's well, like a Superman, mongoose and a honey well, badger. Superman couldn't get around. Kryptonite. Porcelain does something to glass. That's like wild. Kryptonite. So, so somebody taught me back when we were young heathens to do it. And uh, we would do it on junk cars. And you got to be committed. You got to stand there, whack it, and it'll shatter. Like That's wild. Oven, dude. That's wild. Did you do that to our oven? No. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even thought about that since right there. So uh, this guy that used to live in the campground named Big Country. One time we were building up uh, cars to go racing, trailer racing, where you got a hitch in a trailer. Derby, you know, Derby with last trailer wins. And uh, we were at the campground, and he drove around. I was going to say there's somebody at our door. But it's why. And uh, he drove around the campground there, and he had all of his tools in the back of his car, and I didn't know it, and his toolbox was open. And I... I'd been waiting to do this, and I kind of didn't like. He's kind of aggravating son of a bitch. So as soon as he drove around, I went, Psh, and it first try, it shattered, and all the glass went right into his toolbox. Oh man! Of all the sockets and all of his spare tools and bolts and everything. How old was you? Shit. Pounding beers. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I thought you were a kid. No. You're rotten. Twenty-five. <laughs> oh my god. Honestly, didn't think it would go that smooth. This is how I treat all my motors. If I'm working on a car for you, this is how I work on it. <laughs> no problems. This is going to be heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Straight to the dump, baby. Oh, looks pretty good. That's 70. It's not bad at all. It looks way better than that first one we did with the air lug tug. So I think what saved us is the drought. Yeah, no kidding. I think the drought saved You're us. You're probably right. All that rain we complained about not getting saved our motor. It did. So I'm going to do something here a little different. I'm going to run a chain through the head right here. And I'm gonna beat on it and I'm gonna hold it up with the fork so I don't even have to. I don't even have to touch it. Okay. Gotta find the chain. Water laying in it right there, so it's got water in that cylinder all the way up to the top. Taking on water, baby. Belly strings. Yep. Fishing. Fishing the chain up through my big block head. Man. I've always had payments on this bobcat. But I'm down to it, ain't I? Yeah, I don't even know. Like, maybe one more? Maybe. So as a kid, I always, we had, to, you know, TV was different. We didn't have internet. I used to like to watch the Waltons. And, uh, <laughs> I know where this is going. So the Waltons, you know, daddy owned a sawmill and he had to get a loan on it. And that was the premise of the show, man, the Great Depression, you know, World War II coming yeah. out of the Great Depression. So, uh, oh, John Walton paid off his note on his sawmill. And they throw the party and all out, all out. Yeah, I know. Spread, invited everybody over. They yeah. had the they had the deed, a the deed party. The old ladies that made the moonshine price showed up. Yeah. And uh, it was a big party. Well, during all that, Ike Godsey, who owned the local general store, had made a bad purchase. Whatever he bought, I forget, but it was a it was a bum deal. Bad Scam. move. Scammed. Yeah. 
scammers way back then. And uh, Ike come to John in a moment of panic. And, you know, the, that was the only store. Yeah. So if the general store closed, game over for the citizens. Well, you know where we're going with this. John yeah. had to step in and re get refinance his sawmill. Yeah. So he could to save, save the store. Ike Godsey, who was at who was a clumsy some bitch on mm -hmm. the show anyway. And then the, the show I think pretty much ended with just John back in debt. Yeah. <laughs> it was like a help thy neighbor type uh storyline. Yeah. I might have had a tendency. If I get this So bobcat, the point is that I don't think we should have. If I get this bobcat paid off, I don't like we can I, afford a tire for the trailer. My son will need <laughs> like if I get this bobcat paid off, my son will need like extreme braces or <laughs> You know, he does not I, need braces. Every tire I have will have a hole in it. Oh my god, yeah. We're not gonna have a deed party. You never get ahead. <laughs> Just keep on chugging. Make sure you got all the bolts out. Nope, I do not even have all the bolts out. There's a lower row. Talking. This is a genius move. He told me that. <clears throat> He was happy I was going to be have, have time to come down here and film because he could get it done a lot faster. But I think I make it longer because we sit here and talk. <laughs> okay. Uh, we try to remember every lesson we learn. That's how you get smarter. And the lesson YouTube's teaching us. Longer videos pay more to us. Uh, a view is just you watching it for seven seconds. But to us. They push the video more too. So Super if it's a longer box. video, they push it. So more people see the video. Our channel is exposed more. So we're about, trying to do longer videos. So it's all about how many ads they can squeeze into your video. Ads is just like TV shows. They have to have commercials. So if you have a 20-minute video and you wonder why you're only making $6 per thousand, it's because they can't sell advertising time during your show. And even if you have YouTube Premium, I'd say that's what you're paying towards. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, Part of it goes to that, yes. So, now you know why some shows may be too long or why we may do more talking from here to there. Or why we're showing you more of stuff we do outside of the garage and fun I'm things we tired. do with the kids. I'm getting tired of YouTube people saying, well, I didn't show that because that was boring. Why are people watching you? They want to learn something. Show it. You can condense the footage. Right? Yeah. Gone, gone, gone. You Where's got the two more. Two more. I knew it. That's, I got that. That's powerful, but it ain't as powerful as the bigger one. Now, these are literal boat anchors. They're good for nothing. They're only good for stock replacement if they're in good shape. Rusted. So, Pole Barn Charlie, we see you, buddy. Yeah. You're the one with the hard feet. Yeah, man, I feel sorry for your neck today. As hard as you turned it all three times, you walked right by me. <laughs> Better see a chiropractor. Addicted to YouTube and his cousin's on it. Hey, yeah. <laughs> As, honestly, it's sad to me because, like, we never had any beef before, and the beef, the beef that he has ain't even real. The reason he got mad at me played out later on in his life to be the exact same thing. But it had nothing to do with it you. It had nothing to do with me. Yeah, exactly. It's nuts. That's why, um, I really like, that's why I really like the doors, man. I'm okay with it, though. I just, uh, I let it roll. People I live with it.
It had so much water in it, it hasn't rusted yet. I know, that's wild. I was thinking it looks pretty oh, good. Oh, oh, oh. This oh, side's real bad. Oh. Because all the water went to the other side. Damn it. That one may be hurt right there. That ain't going to turn over. Look where something's been. That's what I was like. What is that? Something's why? It's been in it. A bolt. Look, it I was trying to look at that and wonder why it was like that. It's popped a bolt around in it before. That's what we're talking about. I hope you can see it. Looks like a rat chewed this on it. This is real bad. Well, we probably got, I probably got to keep going, tear it all the way down to the bare block, which is. Get the pulley off, get the oil pan off, get it off. There's more coming. Um, like I said, we weren't here to start it. We wanted to see if it was too late. Checking the guts. And uh, the pistons are junk. The pistons have four rows of rings. They have three compression rings and a scraper ring. And they're just huge the way they're set up. They don't make any power. There's no way that's going to turn. If nothing else, we've cleaned up the yard. <laughs> That's all we've been doing. It's turned. It turned. That it, one ain't turning. It sounded real rough. That one must be right at its apex. There's a part when your crank's coming around it. Whoa! Love Is that. It turned? Yeah, these all moved. Oh, it had antifreeze in it. Yeah. Oh yeah, come here and look. Yeah, these all moved. I don't want to step in. So this would need this would go to the machine shop anyway. And if it hasn't been bored, watch, it'll move. Oh yeah. I'm shocked. When people do well it starts and they haven't taken the head off, that's really what they're fighting. Oh. See it won't it, it won't go past that, but I could get it to clean up. That's that's enough to keep working on it to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not junk. Okay, so we're still accomplishing our goal. We've accomplished what we wanted to accomplish. All that you see, so quick rundown. The reason we're doing this is this is a numbers correct, not correct, correct to a dump truck, but I have run the numbers. It's a 427. Uh, next step is drain the oil, pull the pan, make a mess, clean it up, get it in the garage. Flip it over, start getting the pistons out. Uh, I'll probably try to leave the crank in it because I don't want to lose track of rod caps and stuff. I just want to leave the crank in it. And I think that once I get the pistons out, the crank itself will probably spin freely. I don't think there's any rust down there. It's just up here. And if this is standard bore, which I'll get a mic and figure out, I'll have to Google what the standard bore was. This is your bore. Four inch. Um, maybe not four inch i'm just saying yeah um so the goal for this would be a four bolt main mild stroker with a blower on top of it zoomy headers dick banjo uh, you know uh, a hot wheels type scenario and uh the next time you'll see this will just be in one of our next videos once i get that done we'll just do an update on what it looks like and everything and th and that's probably good enough for our Sunday videos, Sunday videos probably include more tech, just whatever we're working on. Tech. All right, so that's it for this for the day. I feel like uh, I've killed a big tuna or shot a deer. I don't hunt because I grew up trap shooting for uh, money. So 
You like our catch. And cut. That's going to wrap it up for our Sunday video. We just showed you guys tearing this thing down. We've got a bunch of other stuff in there for you, so hopefully you enjoy it. I'm going to start it with the fun stuff. Tub of towels are in the truck. We've got to get a sponsorship for them so we can have tub of towels everywhere we are. If you sell tub of towels at one of your local retail stores and you want to advertise your retail store, send me some tub of towels, man. I need about 100 cases. <laughs> it's true. So, this is a real, this is almost a live video of our last yeah. 24, 48 hours. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, this is what we do. We got to constantly keep the ball rolling. Uh, we are hobby wrenchers. We're professional YouTubers. It's hard to blend. What do you got to say? We What's are, the details? It's Saturday. Today's Saturday. So uh, we're going to go do some running with Wyatt. Probably take him out and go to a haunted house. It's last weekend before Halloween. That's his favorite thing to do. I don't know if Tim knew that. <laughs> so um i don't know that's what we're gonna get into you'll probably see some of that in our wednesday video it's almost the 31st so make sure you're subscribed so you can win that 300 hundred dollar gift card no purchase necessary i got a i got a little inspiration i want to share with you uh i quit watching tv all this stuff and that stuff and this stuff and that stuff we watch youtube one of the first channels i've gravitated towards was street race channel billy hoskinson riding willies tommy hoskinson has a younger brother coming up been watching them for years uh you got to decide in your life what table do you want to eat at and we wanted to eat at a creative creative table and uh through the last 18 months we've met talked to broke bread with some really interesting people uh we've been all over uh, street race channel old man's garage gen 2 garage they uh are an inspiration to me personally because they do good clean fun family oriented uh, and they aren't too far from us so i love that they started with the same roots you know they they were hard working people they worked their whole lives and you know they built what they built and that's what inspires us because you know they were tired of the same stuff that we are and they just went out and said this is what we love to do and we're gonna make it happen and that's what they did so that is what gives me inspiration from watching them i love i love the family dynamic so we love to go support stuff that we love so that was our reason yeah. we go down there yeah. We, we park Dick Banjo up, we enter a $10 car show, uh, we park him right there. Uh, I got to talk to Billy Hoskinson, I and uh, I got time. to be interviewed, although it short time by Billy Hoskinson. So he puts out some banger videos with some really good music, and I don't know how he does that because we can't do it. I know. Uh, we've tried, and it flagged us. If you get flagged time three times, you're kicked off. So reach out, Billy Hoskinson. I own Dick Banjo. He held his camera right at me and said, what do you call this thing? And I said, this is Dick Banjo. And he goes right to our box, our uh, detail board, and he shows our uh, page. He has 348,000 subscribers. Old Man's Garage has 170,000 subscribers. That's an inspiration to me. Uh, to keep and, us going. And she it's, she you know? uh, talked to Vicky. They've chatted, but they actually talk face to face. Uh, we're not racers, but we are all things cool. So uh, we support it was a, them it was a great it was sure. a it was a great honor to be recognized by talent, even if it don't go no farther than that. If it makes it on video, I'm gonna cry. If it don't, I'm gonna try again. So. That's where we, we're coming from. It is possible to follow your dreams. It takes hard work. It won't just come to you. No. It might come to some of you different ways, quicker, but you gotta be able to sustain it. So if you wanna become something, become something that you are and not something that you're not. Yeah. So that's, that's just words for me. That's why we went. That's why we're working. That's why I've got big block Chevy sitting here that's why we wanted to share it with you guys because maybe you don't watch street race channel maybe you just never have known anything about them but it's actually awesome to watch even if you're not a racer we're not racers we love it we we're actually not racers. we actually got interviewed by another channel i'm drawing a blank she looks she could probably remember uh, i feel like it was it turn the Tra crank track or, oh gosh i can't this is awful i'll look it up and put yep. it in there we'll, we'll, we'll. I'll it's just it a, it just it just feels good to get recognized for your hard work yeah and uh if you work hard yourself you'll get recognized no matter what you're working on that's so true. that's just it for us it's saturday uh go enjoy your day we're gonna go enjoy ours that's right peace and grace